Hello my friends! In this video I will show you how to create a tape loop starting from an old cassette. But before to start I ask you to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. This is the only way to get all the updates and all the news of this channel. Ok, let's go straight to the point. First of all we need an old cassette tape. It doesn't matter the brand but you have to check just one feature. The cassette must have the screws, so we can easily dismantle it. Then, of course, we need a little screwdriver, nail scissors, little tweezers, adhesive tape and a ruler. Ok, let's start to dismantle this old cassette tape. Then I can remove this plastic label. Then I remove the tape from the wheel. I cut the tape right here to leave the reel free from the leftover tape. I do the same with the other reel. I remove the tape. And then I cut it right here. Ok, now we must cut the tape that will be a part of our loop. We can make different duration loops, it depends on the length of the tape we use in the cassette. Ok, let's take a ruler to measure the tape. To make a loop of 8 seconds at normal speed, we must use about 40 cm of tape. Then, to make a loop of 5 seconds, we must cut about 24 cm of tape. I will show you how to create both loops. Let's start to make the first one. We must cut about 40 cm of tape. I cut one side of the tape. Then I measure the tape, 20, and 40. I take the little scissors and I cut the tape, like this. To attack the two sides we need some adhesive tape, so let's cut a little piece of adhesive tape with the scissors. Remember that it must have the same depth dimensions of the tape. Now I put it on this side of the tape and then I will try to match it with the other side, like this.
Okay, remember to not overlap it. It must be matched with great accuracy because it can cause problems when the multitrack recorder will play the loop. Okay, this is our loop. Now with these little tweezers and a great patience, we must arrange the tape into the cassette. This way. Okay, this side is done. Let's do the other one. You can cover. Okay, now we can screw the cassette. Be careful to check the right position of the tape. Okay, my friends. The endless loop of 8 seconds is ready to be recorded. The second loop is shorter and it lasts about 5 seconds. So we must cut about 24 cm of tape. This is our second loop. The process is basically the same, once we have the tape ready we must arrange it this other way. Let's reassemble the cassette. Ok my friends, here are the two tape loops. In the next video I will show you how to use the multitrack recorder to create endless loops. So my friends, remember to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. See you in the next video. Bye bye.